Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo and thank you very much for joining me. This is the Baptism or War campaign. Welcome back. A few days have passed because I had to uh, break in the episode to go and help out Aldrahill sorting out our succession campaign, but that's all sorted now and we're back. So why does this province lie once again in my hands? What happened to the guy I gave it to? I granted it to this guy. Did you die? He did. He died a natural death. All right, well, we'll find someone else in the family to give it to then. Do, do, do. We're just in this war to, you know, tidy up the realm a bit after our war with Norway and Denmark. Meanwhile, after devastating Denmark, I can't give it to you, can I? I could give it to you, but you're a child. You're already landed, rather. Um, do, do, do. To find as many of these as possible. You? Yeah, you'll do. He's gay. He's got cancer. No problem. Have some land, sir. Um, it might be a problem. He might die, but that's fine. If he does die, that just means we get the land straight back. And I'm not that fussed about that, to be honest. So, um, yes, we're just tidying things up a bit. Meanwhile, there's a civil war in the south, while our uh, Karen priest-hater of our family tries to put herself back in control. Do-do-do. Okay. A Christian defensive pact. No? Is it Christian or is it Catholic? I think it's different. I think the... Oh, he's left it again. <laughs> okay. God will know that I support the church. We don't have that much piety right now, so I think I will spend on that. There is something of a defensive pact against us. We did take a lot of land there. 41% threat. Hey, the Knights Templar. Fantastic. So we've got six, five holy orders now. Excellent. Next time there's a crusade, we should raise all of those guys up. My marshal got wounded. Oh, he does have two marshal. You are so fired. <laughs> Let's get this guy. He's got less than the top one, but, you know, good to have powerful vassals here. He likes us right now, but, you know, as they say, uh, gratitude is a coin best spent fast. All right, you be ransomed. Now, who's going to go away? You're going to be inherited by someone in the Byzantines. What? How? You're my dynasty. He's got cancer. You need to have some kids, like, right now. Why Why is he the heir? <laughs> what? It's Akhenatic Cognatic Gavel kind. Shouldn't it go up to your aunt? Realize she's a... Uh, I mean, try and find heirs. Find none. Try and find brothers. Find none. Go up to your aunt. And then across and down to... I mean, me, possibly. Or this guy. That's really weird. <laughs> Alright, you can have, uh, yeah, we need to get you a wife, so you, you need, to get, you need to have a kid before you die of this cancer. She is a grey eminence, absolutely, marry her. Good lord. Peace be with you. Why are you at war with me? Oh, that's his flag, I thought it was this guy somehow at war with me, but no. Hey, nice, small stewardship, good. I refuse to Christianize you, I'm going to Christianize you by sword. Do, do, do. Okay, both wars won. One of them that we're actually actively in. So there goes Adger. We revoked the province. Oh, that's interesting. Did we just get the uh, duchy? Because he doesn't have any land to that. No, it just destroyed the duchy. That's interesting. We got this thing directly. So you... Oh, that's interesting. Why aren't you... Oh, I didn't press his claim in the end, did I? Okay, so congratulations, Merkel. And An An Congel. How the heck did I get to Merkel? Uh, da, da, da. You can have this little rubbish county. And then congratulations, you're independent. Grant independence. Oh yeah, we lose a bunch of threat too. Sweet. There we go. We've made a nice little Christian mammal. Excellent. Um, so, what we need to do now is preferably revoke your land somehow. We could appoint a better chancellor. Oh, barely. We need a better chancellor. Load up the man filter. Give me a chancellor. In the whole world, who's the best chancellor? Is that it? You don't have to be my culture, actually. Okay, there we go. 19, lustful, just, shrewd man. Come to my court. He won! Yes! Oh no, it was a war against the tyranny. Oh, I thought it was a de deposing war. I thought she was going to be in charge. Darn it. Her heir is me? <laughs> Spectacular. All right, sorry, I know we were just helping you out, but actually I have a new plan. We're going to kill you. 
Wait, no, I don't want this land, do I? I am going to get a claim on the Kingdom of Denmark when she dies, though. So I would like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess we'll plot to kill her instead of helping her. Well, this works too. I know we're saving this money to build a city. I haven't forgotten. But this is important. A claim on Denmark would be very helpful. Well, would it? Because we're not supposed to own all of Denmark. Should we allow ourselves Denmark? I think we shouldn't. I think we should stick to the rules. We're not allowed to have Denmark. We are allowed this area because this area was Swedish at one point. I mean, you couldn't say this was Swedish because it's in the Kalmar Union, but it doesn't really make sense, does it? That just means it was... It doesn't mean Swedish. That means it was, you know, Danish. All right, you guys march home. You guys just disband you. Should disband them here, but no matter. So I need a claim with my new marvellous Chancellor man. Give me a claim on Adga, please. And where can we plot to revoke stuff? Well, we're focusing on this kill first. Sorry, you served us well, uh, keeping hold of this land for our dynasty and having no heirs. But we must have you die before you put it, give it away to freaking Vladimir. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will count. Like, we should get the claim, right? Having a strong claim on this duchy, if we create the duchy, could we then plot to revoke it? I don't think we could. I think we can only plot to revoke it if it's our primary duchy. People trying to fabricate claims. Don't really mind about those. The Mongols! Okay. Word has reached us that an ambitious Khan from beyond the Great Mountains has set out to unite the clans of the Great Steppe. It is also said by men who read the stars that this Khan is destined to become the ruler of the world. Cool. Well, that should weaken Rum, which would be good for the Byzantines and hence for our Crusades. If the Byzantines could be persuaded to help. I think, based on a picture in a dev diary, you can actually crusade against the Byzantines now, which I think is new, so that's cool. Alright, the men are home. I'm not going to spend on house cars. I'm going to save up, and we're going to build this city. Kaboom! Let's try and kill her. Hopefully we don't get caught. It will make her a kinslayer, because she's my aunt. So I'm very hopeful that we don't get caught. We are, however, Catholic, which is the best people to kinslay as, because you at least have a chance that the Pope will forgive you. You want my sister to marry someone? No. She's going to marry matrilineally. Yes, she perished! And there is no sign of my duplicity within the rubble. Excellent. She doesn't appear to have died yet, but that might just be kept unpaused. Uh, who do I want you to marry matrilineally? Um, someone lusty. Lusty possessed man? Perfect. There we go. King Eric of Sweden has inherited the Duchy of Sealand and other titles. Sorry about the siren, by the way. I'll meet for a moment. I can't mute when I have my... I can't click when I have my mute key held down. Yes, yes. Loud siren. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, finally done. We have enough kids. I think three sons is probably okay. Um... So let's leave the Hermetic... Oh my god. <laughs> let's leave the Hermetic Society. Unable to join for another 90 days? Why? I want to join the uh, Benedictine Order. Get some more stewardship. Maybe we should join Dominican. I don't know what's really different about these. I'm imagining the events are pretty similar. Maybe we'll join the Benedictine. Oh, the Dominican lead the Holy Inquisition. That's pretty cool. That could be different. Spiritual guidance, teach virtue convert county and yeah, this is the same abilities let's join the benedictine because the stewardship will be useful so sealand who should we give this to we inherited that claim right yes we have a weak claim on the throne of denmark which means we need to press it before we die otherwise it won't uh, won't work we can claim skein on behalf of this lass so we could give her no we can't land her she's a woman that's unfortunate um and obviously skein's not the jaw part of us so this place if we wait a, a month shouldn't this be uh De jour drifting into us? This place is de jour drifting into Denmark? What? No, it isn't. <laughs> don't talk rot. I have that duchy, don't I? No, I don't have that duchy. Right, we can make that duchy. So why is it just into Denmark? I don't know. Um, so this place we should give away. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Who are we going to give it to? Why don't I have a claim on Denmark? We need to cause some kind of succession crisis. Or we can cause him... Yeah, okay, if we plot against him, we might be able to make him go into hiding, which would cause him to have a regency. Yeah, okay. Let's invite you. Oh, hey, we got loads of money off her. That's fantastic. We can spend that money on building a city. Down here. Up here, rather. 
Okay, um... I think we just give this away to a random family member. And then, later on, we'll be, you know, giving it independence. And obviously, we want our family member to rule Denmark. But then we'll keep this bit. So they might be angry with us, but, you know, we'll just live with it. So who in our family should we give this to? My brother? My brother is still my heir. I don't really want to give it to him. How about his sons? Yeah, that seems good. No, because you can appoint your heirs. Well, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's give it to one of his sons. You can have the County of Sealand. Zjaland, whatever. Congratulations. And you can also have the Duchy, including your titles, which I don't think makes any difference. There you go. His heir is still my brother. And there we go. Sorted. So, now how are we going to make him find out about our plot? <laughs> We need to invite some unreliable people into his plot. Into this plot. Hmm. I don't think there's an easy way to do that. You want me to help Christianize you? I refuse. Do, 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 do. Now we can actually spend our money as we wish, which is on getting a bunch more heavy infantry. I love heavy infantry retinues. They're so cool. So we've got a bit of prestige. Not 300, though, which I believe is what we need to actually upgrade these things. Yes. How long until that city's done? I'd love to no longer be over the domain limit. It's another... Just two years. It's not too bad, to be honest. Not too bad at all. I sh that autosave reminds me. I haven't saved in a while. Let's, let's drop a save. Oh, it's only two years ago. It's not too bad. Okay. Realm. Fairly stabilized. How much of Scandinavia do we own? Right. I said I was going to talk about long-term plans, and we didn't. We need to form Scandinavia. Why do we need to form Scandinavia? So that we can have vassal kings. Why do we need to have vassal kings? Two reasons. Firstly, it's extremely useful in terms of organizing men. To have all of the men from all of Norway just rally in one place, rather than, you know, all over the shop. Secondly, because we're approaching our vassal limit, so consolidating under kings is good. Uh, we own 52% and we need 80%. So basically, we get to, if we take all of Denmark and then do some crusading for, uh, for Finland, we should be in a pretty good spot to be able to form the, the empire, which is excellent. We're no longer losing Denmark, note. Our air is the same for both. You want me to build some roads? Yeah, sure. Do you want me to Christianize you? Nope, I refuse. Doo -doo -doo. We should spread the word they've been demanding that we Christianize them like this. Ooh. The blessed has passed. Oh, he made him into a, into a saint. Cool. Why didn't you make me into a saint? My first character was so good. You probably have to have no... Um, he didn't get a bloodline, though. I thought that would generate a bloodline. Being descended from a saint, I thought, was supposed to... Was, excuse me? I was told there would be bloodlines. Oh. Maybe that changed since the dev diary, or maybe I just misread it. Both entirely possible. My son may become affectionate. Yes, that's excellent. What a nice child. I'm all about having affectionate sons. The Mongols! The many Khans of the Steppe have rallied. Here they are. Under the same banner, the leader that's managed to unite them all is Temujin of the Mongol Empire. The people of the Steppe now call their leader Genghis Khan, the Khan of Khans. And have set their mind not only on ruling the Steppes, but throughout the world. Is there anyone who can stop the thundering armies? They have 112,000 men. But I hear armies of 160,000 sometimes just die out. So maybe these guys won't do so well either. Uh, to put that in perspective, they outnumber Rum plus the Fatimids, plus the Byzantines, plus the, the Ganazanids, or however you say that. It's kind of crazy. They've got a lot of men. Hopefully they attend their attention south, or maybe we get a bit of a Western Protectorate action going on against them. That could be good. These guys could, uh, could do something to them. We'll see. Uh, no, I'm not going to convert you. I may go to war with you just to stop you asking. Uh, so you, we need you to be excommunicated. Uh, not gonna happen, basically, because he likes him. Fair enough. I'm not gonna join. How dare you? You're a member of the freaking Satanists? We will not speak of this. We will instead join the Benedictine Order. Which costs some money, that's not so bad. Let's keep upgrading our retinue. Do -do -do -do. I ask you to seclude yourself and think about your life and your sins. Absolutely, I will. Hey, we can still commission runescones. As Jen points out in the comments, if you're not familiar, Jen is a Loyal commenter who points out many of my historical inaccuracies, which is always handy. Uh, the fact we can raise runestones is just because we're Swedish. We can raise runestones up to 1150, which does make sense because many of the runestones you actually see around are Christian runestones, which of course makes all kinds of sense. That's, uh, you know, I've seen many Christian runestones around the place in England, so 
It's silly of me to think they were just Norse. Oh, Lee's the most wicked lifestyle. Uh oh. <laughs> the guy we sent down to be priest. Oh no, this is the new pope. Okay. Can I have some money, new pope? You're a wicked man. I'll, I'll forgive you if you send me some money, though. Normally he'd be doing the forgiving. Figure it out on my own, or... No, we will once again ask for Smallen to help us. Yes, he helps. Good. Making progress. Making a nice amount of money. What's this? During my time during penance, I found long hours contemplating my carnal desires and never seemed to restrict myself around women. I swear I will not lie with the women for at least three years. 40% chance of overcoming the vice for good, 60% chance to fail horribly. 65% chance of dealing it by practicing it moderately without being noticed. It's fine. We will find a woman to quench our lust. I can focus afterwards. No, we will not convert you. Well, that was a futile effort. Hmm. Find a willing lover. This is a chapter which I shared a bed with before. Who? You've been loyal as far as I know. Usurping titles down there. So yeah, there we go. Our brief-lived <laughs> Memel guy has been reabsorbed back into the local duchy. But that's fine. He served his f function. A plan for an experiment with new military technology. He's got 80 marshal. Sure, you shall have your, your gold. <clears throat> oh, he's injured. Go into hiding. I need him to go into hiding. God has shown me the light. Nice, making some progress. Hey, my wife's pregnant again. My goodness. If we have another son, I will absolutely have no problem becoming celibate because we have plenty of kids now. Oh, no, but she's ill. She's got the flu while she's pregnant. That's not good. Uh, we should keep upgrading the one in the capital energy. And actually, we can put gold into the other one because I think Market Village doesn't upgrade to anything, whereas a Market Town upgrades to stuff, so we should definitely do that. There's our city. Okay, time to pick someone to lead our republic. It's a good way to actually remove this guy from the succession when we want to, actually, if we wanted to, but sadly that's not what we need right now. No adult males that I can see. That's unfortunate. I really want it to be led by someone in my family. What the heck? Why are you down there, my, my, my brave man? I need you to come back. My son is bent over the Bible. Hmm. I bent over the Bible trying to make a sense of an especially cryptic passage when a faint tap on my door breaks my concentration. To my surprise, my little son comes in. Come here, son. Let me read you the Bible. I teach him an important lesson, or 40% I fail to teach him wasting time that could have been spent contemplating the Bible. Take some time to comfort my parent child. He already loves me. He understands. No, I'll try and teach him. Here, come and try and understand this passage in the Bible. My son has other qualities. I failed to teach him and he might become dull, which he didn't, fortunately. A new niece. She can focus on thrift. We have negative income. Screaming arrows. Nice. Feel like 50 tech points by inventing uh, whistling arrows or whatever they're called, historically speaking. So no one, no adult males in my family, eh? That are uh, available and not currently, you know, indisposed for some reason being a baron in Italy. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate. What's the oldest one? Can you even give... Can you have an underage doge? Let's try. My brother, you are my heir, and I am lavishing your sons with great, great favors, so you better appreciate this. I'm going to grant this guy the city. I can give the city to him. So yeah, it looks like I will be able to make him the doge. Cool. So now you can have uh, this place. And now you can have uh, this place. Nice. A new great house. So four great houses rise, and one of them, of course, is led by him. And now suddenly we have a new republic up here. Excellent. It's an extremely poor republic. <laughs> but that's fine. Just being a city gives 12 base tanks. That's very nice. And of course, the other families will make money from their houses, and then we'll have a, uh, a flourishing northern um, republic as well as a su southern one, which is excellent. I refuse. So we are the king of Norway, uh, which of course has made independent all the little dukes of Norway. And it hadn't occurred to me, but we can probably offer you vassalization. No? Because he desires the kingdom of Norway? You really should accept. If you don't, I am going to use a du jour claim on your entire kingdom. He is allied to Denmark right now. But Denmark is not a significant threat. Severely injured king as it has. Maybe we murder his wife instead. No, no one wants to help us. No one seems to want to help us murder Denmark. Well, I really just want him to find out about the plot so that he goes into hiding. 
But we can keep trying. Uh, we've, you know, we'll, we should live at least another 25 years. But yeah, it looks like war with you. So it will mean war with... Wait a minute. Why will it mean war with those people? Oh, right, there's a forced specialization CB. Is in weak and need of protection. You lose a thousand prestige when you declare the war. Wow. And we can dream you only do it when we have a thousand? Yeah. And we have to have a rightful claim. We do have a rightful claim. Oh, wait. Why are you a king? Oh, it's a petty kingdom. What do you mean, has a rightful claim? I do have a rightful claim over all his lands. Is he de facto ruling somewhere outside of Demo of Norway? No, I am the... Excuse me? I am the king of Norway. Of course I have a rightful claim over these darn lands. Weird. Don't really understand why that's not working. But anyway, we can just do it this way. We still lose some... Ah, oh, we need 500 prestige to do that anyway. All right, won't worry about that for a bit. Hey, we're making some progress on our penance. It's very, very good. We're looting and raiding in the north. That's fine. The north is never gonna. The north is never gonna flourish. The north internal bit anyway. Another sun. Oh my goodness. Oh no, but she's ill. A troubled pregnancy. That's not good. Probably because of the flu. That's not good at all. She's incapable. Mm, but it's not actually made her ill. It's just the flu that's lowering her, her illness. Sorry, lowering her health. I mean to say. That's good. Uh-oh. Uh, our heir inherited this land because his son, has, he died in that uh, consumption outbreak. Close the gates, you madman. My wife went through his extremely painful and dangerous labor while her body managed to survive unscathed. Her mind was transformed. She is infirm. I'm afraid this may mean we need to kill her. We can get 700 more battle. Oh my god. All right, yeah, let's murder our wife. We don't want to be married to an infirm woman. She doesn't have the stewardship required. Yes, those things are death traps. 730. Even if she doesn't die, Drive by Bride has been dealt with. No loose ends. Bye bye, wifey. Next. We're 36. We could have a lot more kids if we wanted to. And I don't mind having huge dynasties. You know, you get some infighting sometimes, but it's fun. Plus, you get more potential to have really good characters. An attractive one could be good. Attractive. Uh, people are generally good because if they're an attractive woman it means basically all the rulers in the world like them because the rulers tend to be men if they're an attractive wi um, man it means their wife tends to like them which is really good um, anybody else this one's pretty good charismatic negotiator from Bryansk mm, yeah I like the stats Ooh, no 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 you it's got to be you look at that four stats uh, in double digits absolutely I'll take that Nice. Okay, let's go back to trying to murder Hugh. Mm, no one's going to help us. Could we persuade anyone to murder her, his wife? A few people. Not many, though. How about your heir? Surely someone wants to help me kill the heir so they can become heir themselves. No one is even in without a bribe? Hmm. Maybe we relent our, our quest for Denmark for a moment. I'm not happy that my heir got this, especially because he might be about to die here. Nice. Seclusion went well. We have more. We can't do anything immediately, can we? No, we're just better at educating people. Okay. A new Grand Mayor. He is not terrible at the uh, diplomacy, so I think I will give him the Chancellor spot. We need to fabricate here. Oh, right, yeah. You're a traitor. Go to jail. Excuse me? Didn't you rose up against me? Maybe it was your father that rose up against me. Darn it. And I missed my opportunity to revoke this province. Ah! That's annoying. Oh well. Oh well. New advisor? I mean, he's a yes man, so sure. Let's make my him an advisor. I mean, he'll be our heir for a while, as long as he doesn't die in this, uh, this outbreak. Nice. I gain intrigue. Or I could gain charitable. No, let's take charitable. Charitable's great. Oh darn, we already had charitable. Goodness sake. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. I need to remember to check that in future. Let's upgrade this. We'll need it to finally upgrade the place. And then we just need another 800. And we'll probably upgrade it. I'm not a fan of having uh, tribal holdings. I'm beginning to think this woman might fancy me. No, thanks. She's not my type. A bit old to have kids anyway, so... Even if we were particularly interested in getting uh, some bastards right now, she wouldn't be the one to do it. A peasant revolt. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to go your way, my man. Okay, all you guys can rally here. How many is that? 2,400? Get a few more. 
these guys can handle it. A flamboyant schemer, eh? Oh yes, I forgot that peasant that uh, revolters in CK2 actually kind of act intelligently to fight you. So maybe we'll raise up a few more guys and rally a little further from them. I feel the ambition to groom an heir. Fortunate that it was a woman that we wasted that ambition on. We could have got a few more sons out of it, but oh well. Good. She's a good character. Uh, should we matrilineally marry her, or should we try and ingratiate ourselves with the Danish court? Or the Danish claimants? So, this guy has strong claim to Adga. Oh yes, I remember you. <laughs> Isn't that the guy we pressed the claim on Adga? <laughs> What we really want is someone with a claim to Skane and just Skane. I'm allowing myself this, by the way, until we form the uh, Empire and then we'll get, we'll get rid of it. Um, no really suitable people who have claims on Skane. You do have a strong claim, which would be inherited. So let's betroth you to someone in my family. Like my second son. No, my first son, that's fine. And then when they have a kid... We murder her, the kid has a claim on Skein, we press it, we don't even need to land them because they're in my dynasty, they will go into my realm. And then we have Skein. Excellent. Skein includes the little island, whatever it's called, Bornholm, Bornholm, right? Yes, it does indeed. Good. My ward has finished her education. Okay, right, so we can talk about her about how it was doing. I told her she could do it, she gains humble. Nice, so whenever one of my kids grows up, we have a chance to give them some extra nice traits. That's really cool. Oh, my courtier has been accused of witchcraft. Sure, let's burn her at the stake. Why not? Get some piety. I mean, why not? Because it's horrendously cruel, but I mean... Ugh, oh, no longer kind. That's a great trait. Never mind. Not a big deal. We will rally the men. I fulfilled my duties. I will fulfill my duties as expected. Do you want me to set aside my worldly nature? My worldly troubles, rather, and focus on theology? Absolutely. I will do that as soon as, just as soon as I can. Come July, so uh, reinforce our ally, our vassal, rather. Not too late. Never mind. Um, if he enjoys it. So should we do strategy, Bible, managing a realm? Well, he has the highest of learning, so Bible, I'm guessing. All right, there goes you. We get some prestige, and we get a chance to execute someone. No wait, you're Christian, right? So executing you would hurt. Yeah, we will just banish you then. Or I could send to a holy order. Yeah, I forgot you could do this. We lose piety, and I send you away to a holy order. Sure. Okay, men can stand down again. The lovely Huskarl retinue. Hey, nice, we're close friends. Or, let's spend more time with him. What's the harm? It's not as, as if we're doing anything unnatural. Okay, we might fall in love with this guy. 50% chance we get Gregarious. Or focused on monastic studies. No, I want to get Gregarious. Did we get Gregarious? We did not, but we are maybe in love with this man <laughs> so that's fun we're also friends with our son that's always good so is this uh, our son kept in up charge up here sorry our nephew is still in charge good still holding on okay i think it's time to end the episode oh hello spending all the time in the monastery alongside my friend i'm sometimes overcome with sinful cravings of the flesh it simply lack it is surely simply the lack of women around here i suspect he is also plagued by this i could become homosexual but no, I will I will take the risk of becoming stressed, which we did. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. We might want to rejoin the Hematic Society and try and get, uh, I don't know. You have to get to the second tier before you can do Eudaimonia. We can get rid of stress in other ways. Like we can do some, uh... right, let's build a war chest in the next episode. And then we're going to do some, finally, some proper Christianizing of, uh, of Lithuania. We have enough men now. That I feel confident that with a, with a decent war chest, we could smash our way in here. But that will wait for the next episode. Until then, thank you ever so very much for watching, and I hope you liked this one. If you did, please do hit the like button. It helps out a great deal, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.